Hi there, this is Jen, and thanks so much for joining me on the Scrapbook Pal YouTube channel today. And today I'm going to be creating one card using the Lawn Fawn set called Berry Special. And this set is, or this set has a stamp set, and then it has coordinating dies as well. And I'm going to go ahead and start out by placing the entire stamp set in my Misty, and I'm placing the stamp set while it's still on the plastic um, and I'm just taking some washi tape to tape that down to the door of the Misty so that I can ink all of these up and stamp them all at once instead of taking each individual stamp off the sheet and stamping uh, and, or, and placing them in my Misty and then stamping them that way. This is really super convenient and if I don't use all of them, which I don't use all of them, um, on this card, then I'll have some left over for the next card that I create. Um, the only stamp that I'm going to duplicate is the kind of the string of the strawberries with the leaves and the flowers. And I'm doing some really quick Copic coloring. Strawberries are probably one of the funnest things to color. Um, and I am not a colorist at all, um, but these are just so fun and so super easy. I did pop up the colors for the reds on the screen. That was R27, R29, R14, and 100. And then I'm going to go ahead and color all of the leaves in um, G17, G5, and G2. And these are fairly small images, so you don't really need to use several colors to color up the images, but um, I did. <laughs> and so um, I start with the darkest color and put that where I think the shadows are going to be, and then go in with the mid-tone, and then go in with the highlight, which is the lightest color. I do also add some uh, white pen to give some more highlights after I am done. And then I'm going to color up the little mouse's outfit and all of the little accessories in the stamp set and that's going to finish the coloring uh, again really super easy and then i'm going to take the dies that match and i'm going to run all those through my die cut machine and cut all these images out and then i grabbed a piece of cardstock and i cut that to four by four and a quarter and i'm taking this die from alta new it's called circular elements and I think the die goes really good with this stamp set because it it's almost like a little picnicky, I guess. <laughs> and that's that's what it seems like to me, anyhow. So I think it matches really well with the um, images from the stamp set. And I didn't adhere behind the little dotted area just so that I could slip in pieces behind that. So I just adhered around um, the whole entire square of that panel. Um, I also did mat this with a piece of Lawn Fawn. Um, I believe the set is called Watercolor. And then um, also matted that on a white piece of cardstock. And I'm just going to start placing all of my little images uh, kind of to create a simple little scene. And then there is an image in the set that is a sign. And there's several different um, words that can fit in that sign. And so the words that I chose to use say thank you very much and so I'll adhere that with some liquid adhesive and add that and then we'll go ahead and finish the assembly of the card just placing those little characters where I think they look best and um, I just wanted to remind you that if you would like to subscribe to the scrapbook pal youtube channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button there are lots of fabulous design team members and they create amazing projects and put them on youtube so if you don't want to miss any um, videos then uh, please subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of new videos um, as well below will be links to all of the products i used in this video today and that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like this video or find it informative, I would love it if you would give a thumbs up. Thanks so much for stopping by today and I hope I'll see you next time.